Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road, presented by Illegal Mascal. I'm your host, Josh Jackson, and we are here in Atlanta, Georgia, at Wild Heaven West End. And I'm here with Stella Prince. Welcome, Stella. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Oh, and thank you for driving down from Nashville today in the midst of Hurricane Helene. So uh, we're going to get right to the music. What, uh, what are you going to play first for us today? I'm going to play a song called Two Faced, which is the lead single off of my EP. And um, it's one of my favorite songs I've ever written. It's really special. Fantastic. So Thanks. Stella, tell me a little bit about um, growing up in the Northeast. What introduced you to folk music? How did you how did you end up as a folk singer in Nashville? Yeah, I um, I grew up in Woodstock, New York. So I mean, I got to sing with Pete Seeger and Lee Von Helm and, you know, just all these incredible people around me um, from a really early age. My first concert was Lee Von Helm and um, I was around, I think, two years old. And so just growing up in that environment, you know, folk music is just a part of life. And then kind of when I started writing my own songs, that was the genre that came out. Um, but it was almost more kind of Gen Z coded in a way. So that's kind of why I call my music uh, Gen Z folk, because it's kind of like new folk for my generation. Nice. And uh, so you've got another song that you're going to play off your EP for us here? Yeah. This is a, a song called What's Mine, and um, I wrote it because you don't have to let anyone take away from you what is rightfully yours. So here we go. Ooh. It's not okay to claim you love me, you miss me, and then all of a sudden you don't. I need you to show me, not try to control me, but after a while you won't. At the end of the day, it gets kind of lonely. I'm slowly running out of hope. So get out of my way, stop pretending you own me. I'm finally at the end of my rope. You don't have to say whatever rude thing comes to mind. You don't have to bury my confidence that you yourself can find. You don't have to build yourself up. 
Fantastic. So, so Stella, a lot has been happening uh, since you moved to Nashville last yeah. year. You've got your your new EP, Dear Future Me, which um, No Depression has already named one of the best albums of the year so far, which is uh, mm -hmm. pretty incredible. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, and you just got off your first European tour. Tell me a little bit about getting to yeah. go over to Europe to play these songs. It was um, one of the most incredible experiences of my life up to this point. Um, it was one month straight of, I think, four countries in Europe. And I would played my first international festival in France. It was this huge outdoor festival. I think there were around 3,000 people there. And it was the first time I had ever played to that big a crowd. And um, I got a standing ovation, which... If you have 3,000 people stand up and clap for you, it's like the greatest feeling in the whole world. And um, yeah, it was just incredible. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, um, you've got one more song for us. Uh, what what you going to play last? Yeah, this last song is uh, the, the title of the EP. It's called Dear Future Me. And um, I kind of came up with the idea for it about a year ago because I wanted to write a letter to my future self. So that's what this is. Why do I keep begging for love? Is it because I'm never enough? Why do I always punish myself when things don't go the way I plan them to be? You never truly recover when you always compare yourself to another. Childhood insecurities hover, making it hard to relate to each other. When will I feel? Why do I still feel alone after inviting a couple of new friends home? I guess they're just not the kids I grew up with. I wish my old friends knew that I think of them often. They're probably living it up, going to parties, growing up, moving on without me, doing all the things we said we do. When will I feel the same?
Thank All you. All right. So that was beautiful. Man, thank, uh, you. thank you so much for doing this. Before we let you go, uh, tell us a little bit about what's what's next, what's coming up. Yeah, so I'm about to head off on a pretty big tour. It'll be about 20 cities across the U.S. And um, I'm really, really excited. It's kind of my first like major headlining tour. And um, I'm also about to announce a residency in Nashville at um, the amazing venue called Anzi Blue. And um, it's going to be about four shows in November and December. And we're also highlighting up and coming female folk artists as well so I think it's something that I'm really it's just going to be amazing so I'm excited about it oh that does sound exciting well <laughs> thanks for taking the time to to travel down here to Atlanta and uh, and join us for this thank so you so much for having appreciate me appreciate it <laughs>